in today's video i will be showing you four godot add-ons that will be super helpful for your projects the first one is called rapier physics 2d rapier 2d is an alternative physics engine that basically is meant to provide better performance and behaviors because even though the 2d default physics engine inside of Grouch is quite good and works quite well this alternative does provide some features that make the workflow a little bit better and it also improves the performance at least just a little bit. The main features that it provides is the stability, ghost collisions, fluids 2D and also fluids 3D. The next one is called script ID. Basically, this add-on will transform a little bit how the code editor is being organized because instead of having the scripts like this as it is normally in Godot, you would have them over here. So for most people, this is a layout that is much more comfortable. And also, it is the layout that is used in a lot of code editors. So if you are used to using other code editors such as Visual Studio Code, this is the layout that you probably feel the most comfortable with. Not only that, but also on the right, you can see this other tab with the different functions that the uh, script has. So not only does it make the layout a little bit better, but also provides this new tab with all the functions there that make moving through the code much smoother. And also you have a shortcut to open up this window in which you are going to be able to filter your methods. And also you can even combine both systems, basically this new system and the system that Godot has of having the scripts uh, one uh, under the other. The third add-on is YOLT. This is the physics engine used in for example Horizon Forbidden West which is a super known video game. This engine only works for 3D but well, it is amazing and is the best alternative. And well, the performance that it has, if we compare it to growth, as you can see, is uh, much, much better. So there is literally no reason for you not to be using YOLT as your new default 3D physics engine for Godot. The last one is called Previewer 2D 3D. This plugin allows you to preview 2D or the 3D editor while editing on the other one. These videos quickly show how this works, so for example here uh, he's in the 3D environment, well now in the 2D and he previews it in the 3D uh, environment and the other way around, now in 3D and he's seeing it uh, in 2D. Ah uh, well, this has some usages that could be quite interesting, for example if you have a, a project that uh, is 3D because it uses the 3D physics engine, for example YOLT, but it is 2D rendered, okay? So this tool makes the workflow much, much easier. So if you like any of these add-ons, make sure that you look for them in the Godot asset library and start using them on your projects right now. Subscribe to the channel for more similar content and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.